Okay guys, so continue tayo sa calculation natin. So this time we will be solving the block share strength. So same lang yung problem. So uh, gamitin ko muna yung 2001 NECP. So use using using 2001 NECP code. So using 2001 NECP code. And alam natin yung bolt hole for 2001 is just equal to the nominal hole plus 1.6 so therefore yung nominal alam natin that is yan, 24 yan di ba so 24 plus 1.6 di ba yan dito so 2001 ito yung ginamit natin so we have 24 plus 1.6 so we have 25.6 okay so yun yung gagamitin natin so we have 25.6 millimeter there okay so para makasolve tayo yung block shear strength na formula for 2001 okay is just equal to 0.5 nung FU times nung net area subject to tension plus 0.3 nung FU then net area subject to shear okay so you consider na lang natin yung ito ito na lang yung kunin ko yung part na to okay ba so copy ko yan and then lagay ko na lang sya dito Okay. So yan. So yung kukunin natin first, uh, yung FU given na yan, no? So hindi na natin kailangan yan. Yung kulang na lang talaga sa atin is yung ito tsaka yung ito. Okay. So yung first possible failure natin, ito yung first possible failure. Okay. So i-draw ko lang yung first possible failure. Ito yung plate natin, di ba? Sa main. Uh, take note, ito yung plate natin sa main. Yung, yung yan, no? So, yung first possible failure is ito. Pagkat yan sa kalahati niya. So, yan muna yung first nating i consider Okay? So, bali kung titignan natin yan, kailangan muna natin makuha yung dimension nito. Kunin ko muna yung dimension niya. So, bali yung dito. Yung ito. Patungo dito sa center niya. Let's just, ilan yan? 40 plus we have 40 plus 75 plus 75. Therefore, that is 190. Yeah? 190. Okay ba? Then, dito naman, kailangan natin makuha din ito. No? Yung dimension na yun. Patungo dito. And this is, ilan yan? That is 100 plus 100. No? So, we have 100 plus 100 and that is equals to 200 okay so for solving the uh, net net area subject to tensile ten, uh, tension ito yan yan diba tsaka yan so ibig sabihin that could be 200 minus yung diameter minus yung distance na ta diba Diba? Subtract lang natin yung distance na to. Tsaka dito. Tsaka yan. Diba? So, bali, meron tayo ngayong uh, 200 minus, okay? Minus, ilan? Meron tayong isang bar dito. Tsaka kalahati nito. Tsaka kalahati nito. Or a total of 2 volts. Okay? Times, ilan? 24 plus 1.6, or that is 25.6. And times lang natin ng thickness, which is 22. So, yun na yung magiging value. Okay, mamaya na. So, kuya namin. Then, for uh, net area subject to shear, ito yun. Ito yun. Okay? So, kung titignan natin yan from plate, yan. Ito, tsaka... Tsaka ito. So, isang side lang yan. No? Ito din eh. 
Magpifill din dito eh. So, ibig sabihin ito din. Ito. Tsaka ito. Okay ba? I think nakuha nyo. Ha? So, consider yung dito na side. So, therefore, we will have uh, we will have 190. Okay? 190 kasi yung distance natin eh. Uh, minus yung diameter nung hole na to tsaka minus yung diameter nung hole na to tsaka kalahati nung hole dito so mayroon tayong 2.5 holes then yung diameter nung holes is 25.6 so okay na ako dito so sa isang side lang yan eh paano naman yung dito ha? paano naman yung dito so times 2 okay? so times na din natin nung thickness nung plate 22 so, therefore, kung isusol natin yan, uh, so, kumuna na. Okay, so, meron na tayong 323, 73.6 square millimeter and 5, uh, 5,544 square millimeter. So, since nakuha na natin yung value nung net uh, AT tsaka AV, so, makukompute natin yung value nung block shear. Na? So, bali, dito tayo. Add lang ako ng isang page pa. So, for the block shear, so we will have uh, 0.5 nung FU times yung 80 plus 0.3 nung FU times AV. So, substitute natin yung value. We have 0.5 yung FU for 836, that is 400. Or that is also given in the problem. Then, yung 80 is 3273.6 plus 0 0.3 nung FU 400 times yung EV natin that is equal to uh, 5544 okay so computing ko muna so, therefore we have uh, 1320 kN so yun yung sa first possible na failure okay so, how about yung pangalawang failure? Yeah? Kasi may second possible failure tayo. Eh. So, ito yung first possible failure. So, meron pa na yung isa pang failure. No? So, kunin ko lang din ito ulit. Kunin ko lang yan. And then, uh, lagay ko dito. Dito na lang sa isa pang page. Okay. So, considering ngayon yung second possible failure na tayo. Okay. So, for second possible failure, So, yung marami ito, no? pero ito yung pinaka-critical sa lahat eh. So, ito na lang, no? Calling ko. So, ito yung second possible na failure. Yung magaganito yung So, ito yung mat... Malito yung matatanggal. No? Ayan. No? So, second possible failure. Ayan. So, ganun pa rin yung formula. So, yung kailangan lang nating makuha is ano yung value nung AT tsaka yung AV. Okay. So, for AT, okay, ayun, ito na lang. So, for AT, ito yun, no? So, kailangan ko muna makuha kung ilan yung distance na to. Patungo dito. So, yung distance na yun, meron tayong 100 plus 100 plus 75, no? So, that is 275. So, we have 100 plus 100 plus 75. Therefore, we have 275. Uh, so, meron tayong 275 mm. Okay? So, yung, yung uh, net area subject to tension, ito yan. Yan. Ito, tsaka. Ito. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, didedak lang natin yung yung mga bolt na to. Ayan, tsaka yung kalahati ng bolt dito. Di ba? Or that is equal to uh, 275 minus dalawang dalawat kalahati na bolt, no? Yung bolt natin is 
ganun pa rin, 25.6 so 25.6 okay then then times yung thickness ng plate 22 okay ba? so yan yan then for shear is ito naman no? so may kita natin ito plate na to tsaka dito plate din to no? yung ito plate na to so yung matatanggal na lang is yung ito na lang na no? part yung dito na part so yung kailangan ko na lang na uh, yung kailangan muna natin kunin yung distance na to patungo dito so we will have this one so we have 75 plus 75 plus 40 and that is 190 okay so yung subjected to to uh, net area subjected to shear is ito yun okay ba so dididak na lang natin nung bolt nya no? yung dito and take note uh, dalawat kalahati pa rin na bolt no? so kung i-compute na natin yan so we will have now Uh, 190 minus dalawat kalahati pa rin nung diameter yung bolt hole times times uh, thickness na diretso no? wala nang times to kasi yung times to kanina is applicable lang yun dahil sa dahil sa dalawa yung dito okay so I think okay na tayo dito no? so computing ko muna So, bali yung sagot dito, 480, that is 4642 square millimeter. Dito is 2772 square millimeter. So, makumpute na natin yung block shear strength. No? Ito pa rin yung formula. So, kunin ko na lang ito. So, ito pa rin yung formula na gagamitin natin. Okay? So, paste ko yan dito. So, ito pa rin. Okay. So, substitute natin yung mga values. Ngayon, we will have now the value of 0.5 times 400 times yung 80 natin. That is 4642. Ito yan. Plus 0.3 ng 400 times 2772. So, therefore, we will have 1261040 Newton or that is 1261.04 Kilo Newton Okay ba? So I think Okay na tayo for dito no? So nakompute na natin yung mga value Nung block share for 2001 NSAP ko Okay So continue na lang tayo ng discussion For Uh, block shear strength using 2010 or 2015 NSAP ko.